Hello everyone, welcome back. This is part three of Open PY Excel, where we will be explore how we can automate some certain tasks based on Excel using Python Open PY Excel modules. So guys, in this session, we will be discuss let's say how we can explore the spreadsheet dimension. It means we want to understand the number of rows and columns from the spreadsheet. How we can you know duplicating or how we can storing the header of the spreadsheet. How we can apply the filters on certain columns and we will be understand the process and how we can filter the copy data and how we can apply the multiple filters on the spreadsheet and how we can filter the specific customer name dates and we will be explored some practical examples all right and guys i will be recommend to watch this playlist this playlist is basically designed for handling the microsoft excel using Python programming and its supportive libraries where we have created the multiple videos in order to understanding the Excel automation and analysis in greater details. I will be provide this playlist link in the description below and for this video let's go to the Jupyter notebook. So guys first of all let me import the open py Excel and I want to import only the load workbook. Okay so using the load workbook I can easily you know load my workbook and let me import another library let's say import os so right now os dot list dir so i have only the super store file right so let me load this so simple workbook equal to load workbook and here i am going to provide my file name that is called super store excel sx all right so first of all let me check how many worksheet i have okay and what are those so simple how we can print the worksheet so wkb dot sheets name so right now i have only the single spreadsheet now let me create an object of this workbook so guys order is my variable and here i am going to set the object so it's work very well now we are going to apply filter to the range okay or we are assuming our range starts from a1 all right so first of all let's check you know the uh, particular reference or you can say the dimensions so let's say order dot auto filter right and i want to check the reference so how we can check order dot dimension simple all right so now if you are going to you know print let's say order dot dimensions so you can understand dimensions so i have my data is start from a1 and it ends on you know u column and the row number is 9995 okay now let me apply the filter okay and we'll see let's say what kind of operation we can apply so i am taking a variable that is called filter worksheet and here wkb dot create sheet we have already seen right how we can create the spreadsheet and all so i am going to define let's say filter data this is my sheet name okay let me provide here underscore and now what i am doing here i am going to copy header to the new worksheet what do you mean by this from the order worksheet i am going to copy my header and those header i will be apply into the filter worksheet okay so let me do that so sheet is created now header equal to let's say i am using here cell dot value for cell in order of first row easy and now filter worksheet and i am going to append whatever the header i have simple let me show you the header okay so you can understand so guys these are my header from the order worksheet okay now i am going to apply the filters okay so what is my filter condition so let me apply the filter apply the filter and filter underscore condition equal to 1000 so you can define any condition in this variable so guys right now i want to apply this condition over the sales column so you can see here the sales column is here okay but right now i am not aware about let's say what is the column number of the sales column simple so let me show you the data so that you can easily understand let me open this so here you can see I have, you know, these are the columns, right? In this spreadsheet. So I am not aware about, let's say, what is the column position or you can say that column number against the sales column. 
So right now I have stored the data into the headers. It means in this header variable, I have stored all the columns. So I can easily find out the index. Okay. So how can I do that? So simple header. I want to find out the index of let's say sales. So it is giving me a 17th position. Simple. Or maybe let's say directly if you want to find out in that worksheet like order. Okay, so you can easily find out. I am going to find out the index of sales. Simple. Let me let me do one thing. Yeah. Now it is the correct way. Okay, so this line is also giving me a 17. It's the same thing, right? Whatever I am using here. Now I can, you know, copy the data based on the filter condition. So first of all, we have to apply the filter. So let me do that how we can apply. So I am going to supply a variable, let's say row number as well as row as well in enumerate. Okay. And using order and iterate rows. So I am excluding my header. So the minimum row will be two. Okay. And here values only equal to true. And here I am going to start the indexing from the two. Okay. So guys, what is the means of two? Two means from the second row, I am going to apply the filter. Okay. So are you understanding? Let's say what is happening. So let me show you. So first of all, let's say I want to print a row number as well as I want to print the row. Okay. Let me use the break concept here. So the row number is two and this is entire my row. In this row, I am going to pick my index, which is 17. 17 means let's say I am representing this number easy. So what I am doing here, I am saying if that row, right? Because this is giving me entire row. And if I'm going to slicing based on the 17, because I know what is the, you know, index of the sales. Okay. You can store into a variable and you can supply the variable here as well. And here my filter condition is 1000 directly. You can write the filter conditions. And you can supply the 1000 as well. Okay. So here it will check the value of 17th. Okay. Column meets the filter condition. If it is meets the condition, I will be filter the worksheet. Okay. Which I have already created a brand new worksheet right here. In this worksheet, I will be append. Okay, guys. In this worksheet, I will be append that particular row. That's it. Okay, so can I run this? So the data is filtered successfully. Okay, let me let me remove this. Let me run again. Easy. Now what I'm doing here, let me you know, let me close this. And now I am going to save this workbook with different name. Let's say superstore filtered data dot XLSX. Now let me open that workbook. So guys, this is the data which I filtered based on the filter condition. So let me apply the filter. Let's reach out to the, you know, sales or let me short this. So you can see here, right? My data is coming from here. Okay. So guys, I hope you understood how we can apply the filter based on certain column or certain conditions. Now what I'm doing. I am going to apply the filter based on multiple criteria. Okay. Let me, let me create, you know, another worksheet. So let's say filter sales and quantity. So WKB dot create sheet. And here I am defining the title. Let's say filtered sales and quantity. And, you know, again, I am going to pass my headers append header simple now i am going to apply the filter based on multiple criteria so let's say i want where the sales is i want where sales is greater than is greater than 1000 okay and quantity is greater than equal to let's say 10 how we can apply this kind of mechanism so the same thing i will be apply here so can i copy the same line and this is my the very first condition and I am saying and okay, let me store or let me enclose this condition in a 
parenthesis similarly i am going to write row which is 18 that represent to the quantity and uh, greater than equal to 10 in case let's say if you are interested to find out okay let's say index of the quantity so you can check here 18 right simple so here i am checking if the value of 17 column meets the filter condition as well as i am checking my quantity as well and here filter which is sales quantity dot append and row easy now wkb dot save or let's say you know let me save here super store super store sales and quantity dot excel sx simple concept guys okay so it is a very easy to apply the filters but make sure you are referring the correct column this thing you need to keep in mind now let me open this and you will see here so here my sales is greater than 1000 as well as my quantity also greater than 10 okay so it is a very easy so guys now we have already seen how we can apply the filters on numbers now in case what if if i want to filter uh with customer name okay so any specific customer name i want to filter so again header and index and i am going for so customer name is 6 so ws wkb dot create sheet and here the title equal to custom filter or customer filter easy now i am going to filter the you can say that customer okay again ws dot append whatever the header i have i have appended and for let me paste again for the same thing okay and the row that is called 17 let me apply once again multiple condition and your you know row which is 18 that is called greater than equal to 10 another condition guys i want to keep only those customer whose name starts with alphabet a so it is a six cell in that particular row and i am going to slicing on the very first character it has to be equivalent to the a then those particular row i am going to append in that worksheet easy now i can save this workbook again wkb dot save okay data with customer or let's say you know i can define the same super store customer dot excel sx all right now let's see in that spreadsheet that is called super store excel sx let me open this and guys you can see here so i have only three employee or you can say that customer whose name starts with alphabet a okay easy concept so we can you know apply this filter in my original data set so my sales was greater than 1000 okay so let me do this greater than 1000 and your quantity was greater than uh, or equal to 10 and here your customer name starts with alphabet a so you can see here how many customer i am getting three customer so we have proven this particular logic is correct whatever we have applied here all right and now guys and now guys let me tell you one important concept how we can filter the data based on the date okay so this is little bit interesting and sometime challenging as well so how to filter the data based on date column so again ws1 and here wkb dot create worksheet and the title name is a customer or let's say custom date custom date easy and now again i am going to append my header and now header dot index i am going to find out what is the index of my order date now let me import another module and i am going to import the date time all right and now filter data with condition so what is the condition so condition is guys is very easy from the date and time i need 
I need, you know, month of November and the 28th. Now, the same concept I can apply here as well. Now I am targeting a row number. I am targeting a row number, let's say any particular row, but the cell should be two. It means second column. Now you can start here, let's say, you know, zero, one, two. Okay. So the row number, you know, uh, from that particular row, I am going to accessing the cell number two. Okay. And here, this is my filter date condition. Data condition I have written. That's fine. I can say that date condition as well. So is my date condition. All right. So guys, first of all, you have to create the date object by which you can compare or, you know, you can filter the data based on the certain date. All right. So now WS1 dot append and here the each row. Now again, WKB dot save, you know, super store with date dot Excel SX. All right. So that's how, you know, we can filter the date as well. Okay. It is a very interesting and I am filter only those dates. Those dates are greater than from 28th of November 2016. So let me show you the data. So yeah, this one. And let me refer that spreadsheet and let me show you here. So guys, you can see here, right? Greater than from 28th of November. So I have this data. All right. So guys, we have applied, you know, multiple condition based on strings, based on numbers, based on multiple columns and date and time. And guys, I trust you, you found this tutorial helpful for grasping the concept of Python Open PY Excel. So do the practice of this session as much as you can. And in case of any query or suggestion, please let me know in the comment box. And for now, thanks for watching and have a great day.